In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a spherical Christmas ornament decorated with a letter initial. For this one, I used mine, A for Amy. You can feel free to use fiberfill as stuffing, but for a firmer shape, I use a styrofoam ball. I have links to the ball, the ornament hook, and other helpful tips in the description below. In this video, I will put the pattern description as typically written in the header above. If you don't know what these mean, don't worry, I'll narrate the long form description. The number in brackets at the end is the number of stitches in the round. For the first round, make a magic circle with six single crochet stitches. If you aren't familiar with the magic circle, I have slower videos dedicated to the magic circle and its beginner friendly alternative linked below. For round two, make an increased stitch in each stitch for 12 total stitches. For round three, crochet a single crochet stitch, then an increased stitch. Repeat this pattern five more times. For round four, I have each stitch written out in the bottom left corner. I'm gonna speed up parts of this video because it can be repetitive, but if you'd like to slow it down, there's a link in the description below showing you how to slow down YouTube videos. For round five, crochet three single crochet stitches, then an increased stitch. Repeat this sequence five more times. For round six, I have each stitch written out in the top right corner.
For round seven, crochet five single crochet stitches, then an increased stitch. Repeat this sequence five more times. For rounds 8 through 16, crochet 42 single crochet stitches. I'll meet you at round 17. If you're going to use a styrofoam ball instead of fiber fill, this is the time to insert it. Make sure your piece is right side out and that the yarn tail is on the inside. For round 17, we will do a sequence of 5 single crochet stitches and then a decrease. And repeat that sequence 5 more times. For amigurumi, I recommend doing the invisible decrease instead of the single crochet two together. To do an invisible decrease, put your hook through the front loops of the next two stitches, then pull the yarn through. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. I have a slower video dedicated to the invisible decrease stitch in the description below. I'm going to speed up parts of this video because it can be repetitive, but if you'd like to slow it down, there's a link in the description below showing you how to slow down YouTube videos. For round 18, I have each stitch written out in the upper right hand corner. For round 19, do 3 single crochet stitches, then a decrease stitch, then repeat the sequence 5 more times. I'll see you at round 20. For round 20, I have each stitch written out in the bottom left corner. For round 21, crochet a single crochet stitch, then a decrease stitch, and then repeat this sequence 5 more times. For round 22, crochet 6 decrease stitches. Cut the yarn, leaving about a 6 inch yarn tail. Pull the yarn through and thread it through a sewing needle. Insert your needle through the front loop of each of the stitches in the last round. Pull tight to close. When the gap is closed, hide the yarn tail in the yarn ball. Then insert your ornament hook.
For this next part, you're going to have to decide whether you want to glue the initial on or you want to sew it on. I used Fabri-Tac glue, but if not, grab a sewing needle. Now it's time to make the initial. I'm going to make the letter D for my fiance. Because everyone has different tension, this next part is a little bit of trial and error. Create a chain that's about as long as you want for the different stroke of the letter, and then play around with it on the ornament to see if it's the right length. Once you've concluded that you have the right length of the chain, go ahead and add a row of single crochet stitches. Insert your hook into the second chain from hook, and then crochet across until you get to the end. I recommend pinning it down to double check your placement to keep it in place until you're ready to sew or glue it on. Continue with each part of the letter until you're ready to finalize. a clip of me gluing down the letter D, but do whatever works for you, and be sure to clear your workspace. 